Welcome back to another video, guys. All right, so, you know, it's been a while on this channel. You can trust my recommendations, of course. So if you need a funny, emotional, you know, uh, drama, action movie, I got you, I got you. It's called The Nice Guys. It came out 2016. It has uh, Ryan Dawson in it, Russell Crowe, Andrew Rice, and Margaret Qualley. Those are, like, the main cast. And I got some points over here. So, yeah, um, let me just say, starting off the chemistry, the acting all around is very good. And the chemistry amongst like all the actors was also really good. You couldn't really feel as though they weren't coordinated with each other. And um, yeah, Ryan. I'm recently getting into like Ryan movies for some reason, but um, they're also enter entertaining. I recently watched Drive, uh, and then I watched Barbie last year, and then I watched this one. And yeah, I can understand. He's a good actor. He has a lot of range, and he's also really funny in this movie with like his body language and how he acts as well. Um, same with Russell Crowe. And, yeah, so now moving into the comedy, I laughed at some jokes, but that was probably because I was distracted maybe halfway throughout the movie. But, uh, when the jokes do land, they are very funny. And when they're not funny, like, when they don't land, they're just, it's alright. It doesn't really, um, hinder the movie or your experience watching it. And I think it also balances really well with the dramatic aspect as well. Because oftentimes, well, I mean, I, I don't really expect the best writing from comedy films. And sometimes some movies can like try to have something really serious. But if it's just like littered with jokes everywhere, then the serious moments don't really hit. Kind of like Thor, Love, and Thunder. But this one does a really good job, I think, because there is a part in the movie where it's, uh, you know, it's primarily drama. And the rest of it is comedy, and it does that really well, like, mixing it together. So it's not really, like, uneven, and it's just really funny, and it's trying to be serious at the same time. So I like that, too. So basically, it's about this woman who's trying to escape from her mother, hunting her down. And the reason her mother is doing this is because she's trying to stop her daughter from exposing legal fraud that's going on. And she was about to expose it, so she's trying to hunt her daughter down. And, uh, yeah, that's really messed up. But, um, yeah, and basically she's saying that the state of Detroit, like, what her daughter was about to release would implicate the state of Detroit, I guess. And she's trying to stop that from happening because she is, like, a, a state secretary or something like that. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and one thing I was not expecting was that the character gets killed off halfway in the movie. And I was not expecting that at all because... You know, I thought this would be like the other comedy movies where you have a character that you're trying to save or like they have a main character or whatever else. But it's a comedy movie. Like it's supposed to be enjoyable and funny and stuff like that and lighthearted. And I did not expect the character to get killed off that other characters are center, centered around and the plot revolves around. And yeah, so that was like a, a moment where like that drew me into the movie more because now it's sets itself apart from other comedy movies because normally i just watch comedy movies not really because of anything entirely new but just because of like a funny good time to laugh as well and yeah so it kills off the character that the story centers around and of course as with anything uh there were some flaws one thing that threw me off guard was the opening of the movie it starts off with this like young child i thought it was going to be a young March, who is the character that Ryan Dawson plays, but I, I still don't know to this to this day because I think it was the only March or just a random child, and up until like a certain point in the movie, I had no clue why that scene was in the movie. So it just like it was at the back of my head the whole time, wondering like what's going on, what significance does the scene have to the movie, and yeah, and basically after the character gets killed off. The rest of the movie just follows how, you know, the mother gets taken down. And that's another thing that threw me off was that she didn't get taken down, which is something that I really liked because, again, comedy movies most likely end on a good note and with the villain defeated or whatever. But this one didn't really end on a good note at all. And that's, you don't see that often with comedy movies, in my opinion. So that's something that also interested me in the movie. So, yeah, that's about it for my review. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you watched the movie, if you enjoyed it, or any other movie recommendations you may have. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. God bless.